not even just because it ended with a, with a flag by the world champion and world number one, but because of so many other brilliant reasons, you're going you're to want to check out the recap. But all right, guys. Dingley Ren defeated Prognananda in Armageddon. I think he will be perhaps more confident against Prague because of that earlier win over Prague in the tournament. That was his only win. That was the, in the event in Armageddon. Um, but it's also disappointing that he went for a draw in the classical game earlier where he had so much time and there was so much life in the position and if he was in form he definitely would have played on so i think Prague has escaped he escaped from a really tough position and he should be the one that has the psychological edge coming from the classical game yeah this Prague who switches things up no more e4 e5 no more stodgy italian games it's the trompovsky attack this opening where black uh, gets the bishops but does have to suffer with doubled f pawns for a long time um, Ding maintaining pace on the clock for now, but I love the Trumpovsky. Yeah, you don't see it often enough in my book. English School of Chess. When English I was School of Chess. I've got a crazy yeah. Julian Hodgson story to tell you. Oh, like, no. like <laughs> crazy Julian Hodgson. I know you don't need many more, but I've got a crazy Julian Hodgson story to tell you that has to do with the Trumpovsky in Las Vegas and a wild night. But okay, we're not going to get into that right now. Um, Julian Hodgson wrote the book on the Trumpowski for many years. He was Mr. Trumpowski. Really, he was. And so, if anyone's interested in a unique and dynamic weapon for white, um, the Trumpowski is that. I played it for years, and this is exactly what you said, David. A uh, position where black has the dark square bishop that white lacks, but the double pawns. Um, I think a good choice by Prog, just being honest. I think when you're playing for a win as white, you need these dynamic imbalances. Go for it, and I think a good choice from Prog Donato. Yeah, minimal theory. The players are just playing a uh, position kind of fresh here with their own eyes. And um, yeah, really tough to say whether Black King is going to castle. Will it go long where it might face a pawn storm? Will it go short where it has fractured pawns around it? Anna, who would you rather be right now? I would prefer this from White's perspective. I really like the knight on d4. I know it's not an eternal knight, but if you try to chase it, I'm going to have an even better spot on f5. So e5 is kind of out of the equation here. It would create too much of a weakness on f5 and a knight outpost for White. Um, I'd like to see what White is going to do in terms of the rest of the activity. I was going to say of the pieces and the fragment and the answers with queen h5 immediately threatening knight takes e6 will Black Castle or play the oh. delayed bone cloud? My gosh, Black does castle, and this is amazing. Like you said, what is White going to do with the rest of the pieces? The biggest piece, the queen, she enters the arena ice cold, and uh, Prague is, is going to try to go all in here. It's, it's a little risky, though, because that G-file can backfire. At some point, Black can use the G-file. I was just going to say, at some point, you play King H8, and you're preparing Rook G8. I love that this is double-edged, and... Uh, I, I'm still liking white with a little bit of Trumpowski bias here, but this is going to be fun for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I think white here wishes his pawn was back on h2, because then he could go for a really typical plan of pushing the f-pawn forward, swinging the white rook into the action across to try and deliver checkmate. But um, yeah, either way, the time advantage is starting to slip. It's down to two minutes now. Um, this is great for Ding. I think just in view of kind of current circumstances, the Armageddon might actually suit him. Uh, no time to overthink things. Uh, just pure instinct, and we know he's a what? He's a world champion for a reason. Um, Ding. He's playing great chess. F5, a lovely move there, creating a square for the Black Knight. And uh, he's playing really well. I'm starting to prefer Black now. I love that point, David. Just that the faster time control doesn't allow Dingley Ren to sort of get in his own way, right? To get in his own head. And I saw you. At
unusual game going against Ding in either of their two matches, Anna. Very true, and Prague has had an incredible tournament. He's playing so well in Norway. He beat Magnus Carlsen, he beat Fabiano Carona. Both games in classical chess. <laughs> the world number one and the then world number two, since Hikaru has taken over on the world number two spot, but obviously beating both Magnus and Fabiano is huge in classical chess. Now there's a few moves appearing on our board as mistakes, but... But Rook G8 is appearing as the best move and Dingley Red finds it again. This has been just exactly. great chess from him. We want to see more of this and it's Armageddon delivering, not just here with the Norway chess format, but delivering for Dingley Red when he needs it most. Now he finally has a game that he can just play fast and not overthink it and get in his own way, get in his own head. Rook to G6. By the way, the healthy pawn majority for Black on the Queen side is just three on two. So the moment those tactics are... Uh, are no more. The moment you simplify, uh oh, uh -oh. what happened? There's oh, a blunder. No. What is it? Oh no! What is it? Knight takes h7? No, th no, 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 there's not. Oh, I Wait, thought I, I thought I blundered that. What? Oh, oh my god, it broke finds it! Oh no! That's it? That's it? The bishop is hanging? You're hitting the bishop, but you're playing rook d7 next move if oh. the bishop moves because the and black knight is tied down. Seven checkmate, you cannot move to the f6 knight. Gosh. Oh no. Frag has no, Ding knows it. He knows. Oh no. That's such a hidden tactic as well. I mean, how I think Ding's starting to realize now. He just leveled up the clocks. He was pawned up in the position, but the white rooks are infiltrating, entering decisively. He's turned in one move. Chess is so harsh. It's so tough. It's so heartbreaking. Is there a way for him to to just somehow bail out? He's trying. He's trying to sacrifice the exchange of rook takes d6. He's going to take on g5 with the rook. It gives up h6 with check as well, but you have knight h7. But then there's rook d7 anyway, so yeah, I, I see I see David Howell's grimace over here. You can't see it on camera. Sometimes you get the nod of approval when you're an insecure IM. Sometimes you get the grimace of a GM, and in this case, it is all grimacing for Dingley Ren right now. Heart bleeping breaking. And Prague as well, like, he, he knows, he's not happy about winning the game like this, he knows he wasn't doing well earlier, just a few moves ago, we were praising